Hello students and welcome back. This is the part 2 of your chapter number 4 human settlements multiple choice questions and short questions also. I hope you have enjoyed the part 1. If you have please do like subscribe and share to my channel to keep me motivated. Let's quickly begin the part 2. Which city is the most populated city in the world? London, Mumbai, Mexico City or Tokyo? And students answer for this is Tokyo. Tokyo is the most populated city in the world. What is the meaning of human settlement? Basically definition hai ki human settlement ki definition kya hai. Options hai group of people, building complex, place inhabited more or less temporarily or place inhabited more or less permanently. To bada easy hai ye bhi iska answer. The meaning of human settlement is place inhabited more or less permanently and students this definition jo hai aapki jo dusri book hai uske andar milegi jo ki chapter 10 hai unit 4 ka usme likha hua hai a human settlement is defined as a place inhabited more or less permanently the houses may be designed or redesigned building may be altered functions may change but settlement continues in time and space Where is the dispersed or isolated settlements found in India? On the plateau, on the hills, on the hillsides and the answer is on the hillsides. So students if you refer to the book it says these kind of settlements are found in Meghalaya, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh and Kerala because it's more of the hillsides. So this is the dispersed settlement. Which are the most important cities in India with the historical background of 2000 years? Pachna, Priyag, Varanasi or all of these. So students answer for this is all of these because Patna, Priyag and Varanasi all have a historical background of 2000 years. Um, book bhi refer karenge. These are called as ancient towns. There are number of towns in India having historical background spanning over 2000 years. Most of them developed as religious and cultural centers. Varanasi is one of the important towns along these. Priyag or Allahabad, Patliputra or Patna, Madurai are some other examples. So these are all ancient towns. Settlements vary from thin to metropolitan, from city to village, from metropolis to river or from hamlet to metropolitan cities. An answer for this students is settlements vary from hamlet to metropolitan cities. So if you refer the book also it says settlements vary in size and shape type. They range from hamlet to metropolitan cities. How many types of rural settlements are in India? 3, 2, 1 or 4? And students answer for this is 4. Students will refer the book for this also. So on uh, the types of rural settlements which are basically put into four types. It says rural settlements in India can broadly be put into four types. The first one is clustered, agglomerated or nucleated, semi-clustered or fragmented, hamleted and dispersed or isolated. So char types okay. Clustered, semi-clustered, hamleted and dispersed. Which of these is a tourism city? Ambala, Kurukshetra, Varanasi or Masuri. But easy hai bachcho humko pata hai Delhi mein bhi jo log rehte hain unke liye tourist points sabse paas Masuri hota hai jaate hain log so Masuri is a tourism city which cities are built on the ruins of ancient cities Lucknow Jaipur Delhi or all of the above so Lucknow Jaipur Delhi all of these cities are built on the ruins of ancient cities so students, if we refer to the book, these are medieval towns. About 100 of the existing towns have their roots in the medieval period. Most of them developed as headquarters of principalities and kingdoms. These are fort towns which came upon the ruins of ancient towns. Important among them are Delhi, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Lucknow, Agra and Nagpur. So this question can also be asked students which 
towns are called medieval towns so you can simply answer the towns which are made up on ruins of ancient towns are medieval towns why are social relations more intimate among rural people options are because they are more dynamic because rural people are more less mobile or they are unstable or they are fixed and students answer for this is the social relations among rural people is more intimate because they are less mobile so hum book mein bhi refer karenge rural and urban settlements differ in terms of social relationship attitude and outlook rural people are less mobile and therefore social relations among them are intimate in urban areas on the other hand way of life is complex and fast and social relations are formal which one of the following forms of settlement develops along either side of roads rivers or canals so aise kaun se settlement hain ya us settlement ko kya kehte hain jo roads ke aas paas road ki dono taraf rivers ki dono taraf ya canals ki dono taraf settle ho jati hai options hain square linear circular or cross shape so bada easy hai aap guess bhi kar sakte hain jo rivers hoti hain seedhe chalti hain in a line so these are linear settlements हम बुक भी रेफर करेंगे लीनियर पैटर्न इन सच सेटलमेंट्स हाउसेज आर लोकेटेड अलॉन्ग अ रोड रेलवे लाइन रिवर कैनाल और एज ऑफ अ वैली और अलॉन्ग अ लिवी ये भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट्स हैं स्टूडेंट्स ये पढ़ लेना दीज आर बेसिस ऑन फॉर्म्स ऑफ शेप्स सेटलमेंट्स आर लीनियर रेक्टेंगुलर एंड लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट पेज ऑल्सो डबल विलेज so these are all types of on basis of shapes which of these are mega cities kolkata chennai delhi or all of the above so students kolkata chennai or delhi tino mega cities hain because they have all population more than 5 million which one of these is a commercial town kolkata ambala sonipat or noida students answer for this is if you refer the book Kolkata is a commercial town. What is the way of life in urban areas? Complex and fast, disorganized, easy and slow, or arranged? So, students, हमने थोड़ी देर पहले refer की थी book. उसमें हमने पढ़ा था. The life in urban areas is complex and fast, whereas in rural areas it is easy and slow. So, answer is complex and fast. Sufficiency of which type of resources can help to create? adequate social infrastructure catering to the needs of the large population in the developing countries social financial natural or human so students jo resources hote hain agar aap kisi bhi country mein dekhenge jahan pe large population aur developing countries jo hoti hain khas kar wo social infrastructure wahan pe create kar sakte hain jahan pe natural resources ki sufficiency ho फाइनेंशियल सोशल और ह्यूमन तो ऑटोमेटिकली आ ही जाते हैं लेकिन अगर आपके पास नेचुरल रिसोर्स नहीं होंगे फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल अगर आपके पास माइनिंग की जगह नहीं होगी तो लोग वहाँ पर कैसे पॉपुलेशन को केटर करेंगे अगर आपके पास एग्रीकल्चरल के रिसोर्स नहीं होंगे फॉरेस्ट नहीं होगा वाटर नहीं होंगे तो यू कॉन्ट सर्वाइव टू सपोर्ट पॉपुलेशन सो आंसर इज नेचुरल रिसोर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स दिस ब्रिंग्स टू दी last question of the part 2 i hope you are enjoying this videos and it will be helping you in your exams and preparation if you are enjoying this please do like subscribe and share to keep me motivated the last question is in which of the following regions has the oldest well documented urban settlement found mesopotamia huang hi valley nile valley or indus valley and students for answer for this is indus valley is the oldest well documented urban settlement which is found and so friends thank you for watching this video i wish you all the success and good luck for your exam in life keep watching keep sharing